Hello friends, this is Emily Francis bringing you another book talk. I just finished this book yesterday, Us in Progress by Latina book um, author and illustrator Lulu de la Cre. And let me just tell you, this is a book that you need to not just read yourself, but also have it available for your students to read in the classroom. It talks about students' stories, teenagers' stories, Latino students who uh, live in here in the United States and are experiencing so many different things. I love the diversity that she say, shares in her stories. So there are 12 stories that students can identify. Some of them were my favorite, some of them not so much. It's not that I couldn't find connections with the stories, but oh my goodness, Burrito's story was, Burrito Man was one of my favorite ones about a man who works selling burritos. So her daughter can go to college and it's just, I love the way the daughter ends up embracing everything that dad does for her. I also loved 90,000 Children, which was about Frank's story, who is a Mexican boy who is a middle class, and he grows up understanding that immigrants who are crossing over are illegal and they're just doing wrong things until he ends up having to experience one of the immigrants that crosses over and his whole idea and mind shift changes about the way he sees immigrants. I love that story. Selfie is another great one too and it talks about how Marla is struggling with obesity and diabetes and what her family does together for uh, to help her throughout her struggles. Uh, firstborn was another great one too. So it talks about me being as a firstborn in Latino culture. I know how it is to be strong and having to uh, do everything and tell everything to your uh, siblings. But and then this one is the second sister who puts the firstborn in her place. I love that story. Guadalupe's family story is amazing too and how uh, police abuse forces this family to have to make the decisions to go back to Mexico even though they were born here in the United States. Each and every one of these stories is going to break your heart. Of course, I posted about um, a, uh, an entry of The Secret. One of the stories called The Secret is about the Dreams Act and how she realizes all of a sudden her mom tells her the truth about her not being born in the U.S. and she realized that now she's illegal and then she can't have a driver's license or attend college and then she ends up writing this journal entry that just touches and breaks your heart but and then her sister comes along who is born in the United States and she goes out of her way to f make sure that her sister has the dream that she desires. I really beg you to have this book in your classroom for your students to have access to because each and every one of these stories is an opportunity for your students to identify themselves and to reaffirm their experiences. So go ahead and get it. She writes amazing picture books as well. So anything that she writes, I recommend. Let me know if you decide to read it.